Acne is very much a place where I go to have fun. We're in Hackney, but we're right beside the city. And the great thing about having it is people from the city can come, people from the suburbs can come, and people from Hackney can come. One of my first ever comedy gigs was in the, the Comedy Cafe. It just uh, seemed obviously quite a kind of vibrant area, a lot of kind of clubs and uh, media types. I think anywhere where there's uh, other art stuff going on is good, good for comedians as well. Um, bands go there, decks are there. It's really nice. It's the one place I wouldn't want to play. The further east you go, the cheaper it is to live, really. And the more space there is and the more um, room there is to express yourself. So around about six years ago, uh, we had a warehouse space that cost next to nothing. And we set up our record label and loads of creative, interesting stuff happened. Realistically, London's got so much underground music going on that to compete with that, you need to have a hook or something. And Hackney kind of gave you that edge because there was that space, there was that kind of... Um, off the wall feeling, there was something in the air. There's a sense that you don't need to be told that people can go, whether it's sort of publishing their own poetry and putting together a magazine or a, um, you know, a local newspaper, whether it's putting on an art exhibition or putting on a gig. There is such a sort of wide and diverse online group of people that's easily accessible to anybody to tap into that um, people will always come and support. So I think it is that sort of sense of creativity and, and vibrancy is something that makes the area very special. We just really like the energy and the vibe that, that was here and that all the talents seem to be around here. It's a, a real mix of different cultures and different people and different ways of thinking. A lot of these people from the West basically come to the East to, for nights out. So you, we've got a lot of clients now who said, yeah, I'd lo absolutely love to come over, but can we make it five o'clock? The big creative aspect does come from that kind of edginess, you know? Wouldn't be seen dead in Soho, to be honest. They were all lying there, lethargic and miserable, and everyone was down, no one was happy. We like being here. It's a very sort of vibrant atmosphere. Um, people who work for us love being here. People, I think, if you want to work with us uh, because of where, where we're based, we're seen as a, a different kind of company with a different kind of uh, image, not kind of run of the mill. And somehow I think this company uh, just wouldn't fit if we had kind of West End offices. I think we're actually, weirdly enough, we are a kind of East End company. There's a kind of vibe here which actually does help the creative process. We did a concert with Nancy Sinatra for BBC4 last year. We do pop promos, we also do a lot of work for the BBC, doing a comedy film with Lenny Henry and people like that this week. Probably is the fact that there's a lot of people from around the world, uh, the fact there are other artists, birds of a feather flock together, that kind of thing. The artistic community have actually led the regeneration of the borough. I've got fantastic members of the Hackney Empire, particularly from um, when I did Live on Unleashed there. And when you're walking on the stage, it's almost like being at the Apollo. It's got the same kind of resonance, you know you really feel like you're walking in the steps of greats and it inspires you to be great. I mean, there's lots of different music which you can hear, like right, if you just hear people driving their cars and that thing. Premises has been at the heart of Hackney's music scene for about 23 years now. Nina Simone's been here recently, Lily Allen, we've had the Arctic Monkeys in, all sorts of people. I've been here for about 10 years and it's been great to see the business grow and develop and it's growing in line with Hackney I think as well. The diversity of Hackney is reflected in many areas of my work. I wrote a song called Night Bus about the insanity on buses at night when everyone's ready to go out. The launch of my debut record was three nights at Shoreditch Church. We were given permission by the vicar of Shoreditch Church to cover the church in, in artwork and in a sense that's a metaphor for Hackney because people give you the freedom to express your individuality and who you are. This is the butchers and snatch niggers with the frills on the bum. It's really kicking off in America. I think clothing should be a treasure. It should, we've got far too much clothes that we just throw away. I'll only have a certain amount of meters. And I'll put hours and hours into developing a design and then get hundreds of orders. I've, I've only got 10 meters of the material. So it's not the best use of time, but I can't resist doing it. I really like it here, I love it here. There's, 
there's a lot real community here, I suppose, even within this workshop where we are. Like next door, there's Louise Gray, who's a fashion designer. There's Fashion East as well, which is the fashion um, collective that I'm part of. You know, I come to work, come to work in the morning and I say hi to people on the way to work. And I think I have lived in other parts of London, and I've never had that anywhere else. I think it's, it's nicer nice when two different. Two times. Yeah. 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 The people that are around and are about are interested in what I'm doing and I'm interested in what they're doing, so that makes for a nice mix, you know, a mutual exchange, I think. A lot of artists, not only artists, a lot of, uh, a lot of star, you know, a singing star, pop star, they're all coming out from, uh, from Henny as well, the musical and everything. Henny is a special place, you know, for people who live there. Because uh, Hackney, the lines are different and people are taking it very easy, very relaxed and all that play. That's why Hackney is, uh, you know, uh, all the artists and designers who love to live in Hackney as well, especially with total powers are fantastic as well. It's a fantastic borough, yeah. There's so many creative people, painters and ceramicists and silversmiths and jewellers and yeah, it's, it's a really vibrant community to be part of and there's lots and lots of workshops and studios hidden away. Well, this is the work that is sort of instantly recognisable as mine, which is um, blown glass, which is rolled in copper when it's being made and it oxidises on the surface to produce this um, sort of texture that looks a bit like slate or a bit like stone and then I make the silver pieces to fit it. It's going really well. The last couple of years have been fantastic. I've been self-employed for about six years and two years ago got some funding from Hackney Council to help me build a website and do some PR and marketing and all that kind of thing. Um, and invest in this workshop, buying tools and equipment, all that kind of stuff. Hackney is special because, um, because it has such a diverse uh, population, such a sort of diverse spread of different people come to Hackney to, to sort of settle in Hackney. Just trying to find a way of fixing it. I've got this long stainless steel spigot and I'm hoping you can just lower it down on the spigot and that no one will get it. <laughs> There's a sense of freedom that certain uh, other cultural influences bring to the borough and I think that that's important for artists. I think that they're, I think they're stimulated and um, I think they're they're motivated in, in that way. One thing that's really important to us is ensuring that the diversity of Hackney and the creativity of young people in Hackney becomes um, the future of London's art scene. We're essential to 600 artists running their creative businesses because without um, the affordable, affordable premises we provide, they'd find it very difficult because a lot of them are working on very low incomes and low margins. I'm sticking around for at least five years. Um, that's my plan for this space. Totally change it around and then start building. I've never really kind of had any experience with building before, but I'm kind of getting into it. And um, just take it from you know, this level to the next level and just keep creating. And also having a space to paint and a space to kind of, you know, get other artists in, do exhibitions. I've become this kind of accidental gallerist, it was never a plan. This is my alter ego, Pure Evil, and uh, this is a quick introduction to my work. You've got Fefe Talavera, you've got Remed, you've got uh, 1980 Crew, Stanley Donwood, you've got some Pure Evil. I've got um, some of the artworks from the last show that I've done. These are pieces by two artists from Rome, Sten and Lex. Having a base here means that you look serious. just cool and there's a, I don't know, it's just great. You couldn't find a better crucible and a better, you know, pet petri dish even, um, of uh, youth culture than, than Hackney right now. Mm -hmm.